Welcome! Oh, welcome, 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 welcome. A PJ Tour 2K23. My career, Ragnar Lothbrook, episode one. Yes, welcome to another episode as we play as my uh, as a character trying to become PJ legend. Uh, for those of you returning from uh, the channel, welcome back. Good to see you. Love you, friends. For those of you joining us for the first time, here's how it works. You watch me play, watch me occasionally talk. Super fun, and not at all boring. But as I said, we are playing. If you caught it, yes, we are playing as Ragnar Lothbrook. For those of you that um, know who that is, hopefully you appreciate that. We are we are flying the flag of uh, Norway. Uh, for those of you who don't know who that is, look him up. Uh, we're gonna we're, we uh, we are doing uh, a, we're right now we're, we're set as a rhythm arch type. So yeah, uh, I did come in here and play a little bit. You can see here I've leveled up. I played a few rounds uh, just to get used to the mechanics, things like that, because I've never played a golf game game until until this one. So when it messed around, so uh, I've learned I'm a horrible putter. Uh, that's what I've learned. I don't play enough break or I don't know what they will. You'll see it, I'm sure. Uh, we are doing Q school. Uh, trying to get to the Corn Ferry Tour, so I think I think we need to finish in the top 50. I think is what is required. Uh, we'll we'll mess around with the difficulty. Uh, we'll, we'll leave it probably what it's set at now for Q School. Maybe the first or second uh, tournaments we play in, assuming that we make the Corn Ferry Tour. Uh, would really like to keep it at, at somewhat realistic. I, I don't want to be winning every tournament. Uh, that's not realistic. I also don't want to be getting 50th every tournament. So we'll have to. I we'll have to find what that that balance is on the difficulty there. Uh, we're also going to try to keep these episodes a little bit shorter. If you've seen other series of mine, I'll get this going here. If you've seen other series of mine, TPC Boston is where we are playing. Uh, I've I try to actually keep the episodes around 45 minutes. You will know that a lot of those other series I film it that miserably where I approach the hour mark. 2K Sports and the Corn Ferry Tour are delighted let to welcome you to this here. year's Q School Final. Without further ado, let's get into the coverage of this exciting event. Luke Elvey here alongside Rich Beam. And Rich, what's it like to compete in this nerve-wracking affair? Luke, all the players in this field want one thing and one thing only, and that is their Corn Ferry Tour card. It's a massive accomplishment. Let's see how this all shakes out. The top 50 on the leaderboard will get so top 50. their card. Okay, Can't before we... To see what unfolds. So as I was saying, uh, some of those other ones I fell miserably at, trying to keep it around that. This series, what we're going to do is we're going to do one... We're doing one uh, round tournaments. We're not playing four. We're doing one round tournaments. We're going to do one round per episode. So the goal is to keep these episodes under a half hour is, is really what we're shooting for. Um, to just, just give you guys some options that aren't super long give you a series that's a little bit shorter that you can maybe yeah, watch and enjoy so that's the line. plan so let's get going here the second shot into the first i've been hitting a little bit of a cut here that's a good shot lovely effort that now this is the weakness Pretty from my practice coming up here Ooh, nice line. See, even that was almost so okay. I'm I'm not I'm, I'm not yeah, accounting for enough break, or I'm just not hitting. The, I'm Let's not striking start. it enough with enough force so that it's. Now that was a little bit better. Let's clear these bunkers, please. That was fine. Like so, anyways, that's the plan for the series. Should we go for the green on this one? Five iron, hybrid, five wood, three wood. Why not? Let's do it. Let's do it. Opting for the three wood. Ooh, what a kick. Well, that's a tremendous shot and sets up a wonderful opportunity. Using all of his muscles to get that one home in two. Get in there. Ooh. Oh! Easy. Good look at a birdie here. And I'll take it. That part hold, it's back -back so don't expect Two that. So again, this is what I was saying. We'll have to see 
because I was not shooting this well in my practice rounds. We'll have to see what the difficulty looks like. I, again, I don't want it. Measuring 208 yards, a difficult par three to say the least. I don't want it to be unrealistic in terms of what I'm shooting. Going with the five wood. Quality shot that one. Well, this would be a big putt to make. The birdie always nice, but particularly when it's a two. That was a gallant attempt. Job done. Let's head to the next. The fourth of TPC Boston Rich. A great short par four. Players looking to make birdie or better. The only difficulty is finding that front bunker. That's when big numbers can be had. For sure, birdies galore. <laughs> oh, that is flushed. Get on the green. Nope, it's going to be off to the... It's a little, little aggressive. A little Close aggressive. the surface here, and the green side rough. Trying to get two, three under par with this putt. This is on a great line. Oh, no. That wasn't your best effort, was Ugh. it? Again, that's that's what I've been. That's it's what like I was doing. Forward, five footer to me. More dramatic this in the practice, but the I was I was missing a and lot to the is. right. So that tells me my thumb path is wrong because I lead. I do tend to end up a little bit more right, or I'm not. Take a look at what this so it could be path. It could be I'm not playing enough Dog break. I'm not right playing enough the big speed. Is the green three different tiers on this green? Find the correct one. You'll have See, a look at my path. See, we need to miss it, and it's going to be a difficult. We need to get that a little more centered coming back at finish. Yeah, you but I mean, it's fi that's fine. But it's uh, it really, it really only shows and rears right its ugly here, head. And they're going to go ahead and ride the wind back to this pin. Opting for the six iron. Well, they'd love another bounce to the right here. Oh, nice shot. It really, you don't, it's not as noticeable except on the putting Luke. green. This player is relentless. That was pretty good, but see, I still missed it. Okay, steady mm. now. Pretty good chance here. This one's for par. So no change on the leaderboard for this player after that hole. Time to tee off at the sixth. Bunkers down the right hand side are a nuisance. I see, oh boy, I, I way overcorrected on that. Look at that play thumb path. Players find the fairway off their tee shots. Second shot to a very flat green. You can get it close, but still difficult on this long par four. That one seemed to get away from them, Rich. Distance control nearly impossible coming out of this rough. Oh boy, that That's saved my butt. Such soft hands. Saved my butt. Currently two under for the event. Now a par five hole awaits. Par five, and only the long players can reach in two. Find the fairway, then make a decision. Do I go over the large bunker a hundred yards away, or do I lay back of it? Either way. You must make a par five here, because birdies will be had by the big hitters. That was a little bit better. We're still going to be short of the green, but not bad. About as close as I'm going to get. Ready to play their third. Currently tied for the lead. Who get in? Oh, nice. That one. And they'll tap this in for birdie. There we go. And still in top spot after that hole. Keep it going. Let's see what happens here at the eighth. Par three and a diabolical green to say the least. The left hand side sits much higher than the right hand side, and the green is usually very firm. A tough mm, pass. Mm, easy. That one Ooh. should find the surface. Okay, it rolled out a little more than I thought it would That's based on how it landed. Birdie at the last. This for another. It was on a good line. Big putt for Pai coming up. 
Leading that line wasn't very good on that last putt, but I was trying to work on getting a little bit more centered with my hole. putt. Ninth hole, bunkers down the left, will not come into play. And this green sits below the players. See, now I'm overcorrecting a little bit. See where that ended up a little bit offline. Here in the past, but they are really difficult to come by. And what's in front of them there, Henny? Setting up here from about 145 yards. Launch that one into space. Wow. Still got it up this to the right, though. On a pretty good line. Nice the shot. Perfect wind swing. Nice and easy. A seven footer right here. Oh, that was good. And he'll extend his lead. And with that, he'll move to four under. See again, on a four under might be a little. That's an eight well, under. That's a little. Might be a little unrealistic here. So we'll, again, we'll, we'll lead, probably play our first. Yeah, I, I like the position. I like being out in front. That forces the other players to come catch you. I like their position. We'll we'll leave it at this difficulty for the the first corn ferry event because. I'm assuming the course will be harder. Um, competitors will be will be uh, currently leading by two. That's gonna be short by a lot, I think. Yeah. Um, that one quite so flush. And coming up well short. I, you gotta think that the course is gonna be harder. Um, competitors are gonna be harder, so we'll we'll, we'll see where this puts us. A three stroke advantage. Pegging it up on the 11th hole here. Par three measures 231 yards from the back. A very difficult test indeed. A long green that is unforgiving as it slopes from back to front quite severely. Birdies are hard to run by as pars can be as well. Oh, look at that shot. That one, and as good as they putt, you almost have to guarantee this one. He's currently sitting in first place. I'm pretty sure this player will be buoyed by that birdie back at the last. Let's see if they can deliver another one. Par four, 510 yards. Good luck. You'll need it. That should find the fairway. Time for the second shot at the 12. Seems to have chosen the three wood. Clubbing up. A little more power here. A little it, more run out. Yeah. Let's see. That's a terrific that. shot and sets up a birdie opportunity here at the 12th. And a fantastic look upcoming. Okay, we're getting better with the putter. Well, that'll play. We're getting well, better with the putter. And this is quality play. Yeah, we're, so uh, we'll have to see about this difficulty. This is probably a, a long par four. little unrealistic, par I think. Four, back up the hill, 447 yards. This is an adventure-filled par four. Sitting at six under for the day. Currently in the lead. Oh, that's Ooh, right at it. There, horsey. Too much, though. Did he say wool back there, horsey? What are we looking at for this part, Henny? 18-footer uh, here is what he's facing. Left it under. What a oh, I made it. Here for a look at a bird. Wow. Yeah, my putting's getting better. Of course, if I up the difficulty. Next up is this two-shot hole. Fairway sweeps from right to left. Let down the wind the take hill. that. You find the Not fairway, to mention the path of my shot. Look at finding the green in two. They won't even make it to that mound. Oh, so close to being. To walk away with that score. The 14th hole at TPC Boston is a par five for the locals. A converted par four for the tournament, Rich, and it's a strong second shot down the hill. Second shot, very narrow opening to this green. If you miss it out to the right in the bunkers, you have a difficult time I getting it up and down. we have a little more down. left to, to right left, there. You have some options. Parts can be made. This one's a birdie. Their short game today has been absolutely sublime fun mm. to watch. Just three feet to the cup. Leading by four strokes after that one. Teeing off here at the 15th hole. Par four, 421 yards. A seemingly simple par four. Oh, no, get there. Okay, we're fine. Oh, absolutely flushed. And what are we looking at here, Henny? He's got roughly 105 yards here. 
Wow, Weird that distance. drive. That had so much air time, I didn't even know if it Weird was coming distance. down. Weird distance. And it'll be fine. Oh, that's a yep. great approach shot. Always love these opportunities, especially when it's for birdie. There we Still go. In the lead okay. After that hole. Wow, Three we're running away with this. This is what it's all about. Time to see who is going to get it done. Opting for the five iron. Too much this club, one's maybe. Got eyes for the flag stick. Oh, stay up. Well, that's right out of the top draw. A great shot from our leader. I tell you, you just dream about mm. days like today. Greens and regulation spot on all day. Awesome. Well, this is, yeah, we got this. Just In the bag. Games. Let's see how you handle the penultimate hole. Severe dog leg from right to left. Second shot down. Take the it hill right up over these very narrow green. trees. No harm, no foul there with that shot. Sitting at eight under. Currently in the lead. Ooh, that's short. Nicely yeah. done. What's in front of them, Henny? The perfect leave. Too Uphill hard. can be firm. Ooh, I like that there. And that will drop in for Birdie. He sits in first position. Of all the finishing holes on the PGA Tour, this is way better than I was playing in practice. It's not even close. Right with the very best of them. Long hitters are looking to take it down the left-hand side and get the extra chase. Stay out of that bunker. Stay out of that bunker. That'll leave them with a very Dead short gummit. second shot to a dangerous green, big deep bunker right, and a large hollow on the left-hand side. Birdies and eagles have been made before, but so it's six. Punch it out. Leave ourselves with a. Oh, clever play that. Just get it back into the fairway. And here we are with the third shot. Puff of wind blowing right to left. Oh. This needs to go a little bit right once it lands. And this putt is for a final score of 61. Oh, so oh. close. Three feet to go here to the hole. And okay. All right. So, as I said, what's a tournament. So we won. Yeah, so hats off, but listen, I on our queue really doesn't matter Luke you finish first school finish event you still get your tour card you still have an amazing opportunity next year yes winning it does get you into a few more events at the beginning of the year but you better play your way into the next part of the year because of the reshuffle hats off to the winner but hats off to all the players oh so I, I get to play more events then well, so it did matter that I won. Coverage. On behalf of Rich Beam, I'm Luke Helvey. Thanks for so you can see again, I, I, see you not a complete, you know, I did play a few, a few rounds to get just some experience, so that's why I'm not level, you know, one. Um, but, um, see, I'm, Ah, see, you can see I had it on easy just because of how poorly I played. We're going to leave it on easy for, the, I think, the first. Um... Oh, that's my train of thought.
whatever. Okay. Um, so this gets me into a few more events here. What's the schedule? One, two, three, four, five, six. Seems like not a lot at all. Okay. Um, we're going to end it there, though. So, yeah. We'll keep the difficulty uh, as it was for this tournament. We'll just see how that shakes out. If it proves to be as easy as the Q School was, and then we'll obviously up the, the difficulty there a little bit to, just to make it a little more realistic. But, um, no, it's a good start. So again, as I said, we're going to try to keep these episodes a little bit shorter. So uh, it's going to be for now. Come on back and we'll pick up here.